Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum, the podcast that is currently funding the Taliban. The man in front of me is the reason why the Taliban has stolen Chinook and, uh, what is it, Desert Eagle? What is it, Blackhawk uh, helicopters? Did you see uh, that shit? Uh, yeah. I saw From that. the United States Marines. It's Mike Ward. <laughs> I am Mike Ward. I su- fully support the Taliban. Did you see that the boys are back in town? Yeah, they're, but that everyone knew that was going to happen. I, when I was in uh, Afghanistan 10 years ago, and uh, they were telling me, they were like, as soon as we leave, it's going back to exactly the way it was. So they they did nothing this whole they fucking time? They did nothing. They, they, they left weapons for them. Did you see the photos? Yeah, yeah. All these caches of guns and then the, what, the Black Hawk helicopters. That they, the, the, the good thing is, though, um, no one there will know how to use those weapons. The weapons they could learn. The helicopter, I think they're going to crash it. Uh, yeah, and like the drones, oh. they're not going to know. Like even like when I was there, they, they, had, uh, they had rockets, but they didn't have rocket launchers. So they, they put a rocket against a chair and sort of kind of aim it and then use a hammer to hit the back of the rocket to make it pop out. So I don't think if they find rocket launchers, they're going to know what the fuck they're doing. They sound like Islamic cavemen. Yeah. When, when I saw a video of them like going into some palace in Kabul. And they all look like Borat in that scene when he goes, King of the Castle, King of the Castle. <laughs> and they were just sitting in chairs. They're like, look at me. Look at me. I'm on a chair. Oh, no. So you're like, you fucking buffoon. Like, you can, you can love your religion and still fucking enjoy a comfortable chair. Yeah. I don't think fucking Allah is judging you for sitting in comfort. I, don't, I think it's because they don't, they focus mostly on that aggressive Milton shit yeah. and they don't try to live. Because for so many years now, they've hid and I guess hid, I don't know if they're even being attacked, to try to survive yeah. as, um, as Taliban members so that when the states leave, they could take over the country again. So I think it's just that they were like, oh, let's hide in these caves until it's time to come out. And they missed, like, they don't have iPods. Yeah. They don't have any of that shit. They don't they haven't listened to music. They're very aggressive. They're almost like a gay dude that lives in a little town that can't fuck other dudes. And then as soon as he moves to Montreal, he's just fucking everyone. Yeah, yeah that's what it yeah. is. They're like fucking closet country gay guys. But they, then they killed the comedian. So far, they've killed a the comedian. They're killing women. Yeah. They're, uh, they're the the women thing I'm okay with. Yeah, but the, well, the comics. I, I heard <laughs> Leave that, the comics yeah. alone. Yeah, yeah, the women thing I heard. They were asking a lot of questions. <laughs> One of them read a book. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, Poor, oh, what a shitty time to be a woman. In Afghanistan. Even, uh, let's be honest, two years ago, it wasn't a good time to be a woman in Afghanistan. No, no, never, but, now but now the now fact that you horrible. thought, let's say in yeah. Kabul, you're like, nice, freedom, we're becoming yeah. more westernized, and like, the fuck we are. Yeah. You know how, like, some countries will kill intellectuals, yeah. but they're a woman that knows how to read. Is, She's a witch. Yeah. They're like, look at that fucking, look at her with her coloring book. Yeah, it's like, I, I learned how to do math. Like some goddamn whore. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense because Islam is in the, the Middle Ages right now. You keep saying that. Yeah. And I know what you mean because he's referencing how old other religions are. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. It like, just it makes it sound so, <laughs> <laughs> so insane. I, I know what you mean, but even that's not true. I think that that's a false equivalency. And I'll tell you why. Because everyone, because when we talk about the Middle Ages, even people that religions were older, newer at the time, technologically, we're all in the Middle Ages. Right now, it's not a valid excuse. I think uh, mentality-wise. But what I'm saying is mentality, it's not a valid excuse because around you, you can see everything else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's like, true. So it's not they're like, oh, well, we don't know. You close that. We don't know the internet exists. We don't know about freedom of speech. Yeah. You know, we don't know about nice things. You do know it's about true. it. Don't they post beheading videos on Twitter? Yeah, bro. They know how to use the internet yeah. uh, just in limited capacity. They know how to get some some radical retweets. Everyone has a cell phone. That That's the yeah. thing that... Uh, Surprising when I went to Afghanistan, no one had electricity, but they all had cell phones. It's more important. Yeah. Wait, how do they charge the phones? Uh they 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 get rid of their batteries and they change the battery every no time. Way. Yeah. yeah, or they pray. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, they don't have the best phones though. Yeah, it's not like a, it's not like Oh yeah, a, they have like the old Samsung's where you can remove the the back. The back. Yeah, 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 exactly. Fuck. But they have enough to tweet. Yeah. God damn. It's just long as fuck though. 
The tweet. They gotta do A, B, C. <laughs> you will never believe what Abdullah did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of him. <laughs> it's fuck, but I can't believe we're talking about that now. That's what's yeah. crazy to me when they go. It's been 20 years, and you're like, all right, this is done. And then now it's 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 the news again. There's gonna be people dying. There's, it's fucking crazy. What can we do, Poseidon? What do you think we should do about Afghanistan? Uh, I mean, look, man, just. They should all just fuck. That's not gonna. I don't know why like you keep saying that. Why aren't you at the UN right now? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine him at the UN though? That's what the kind of stupid shit he would say. Yeah. Are they having sex though? Because <laughs> sometimes I get angry too, and I want to overthrow the government. <laughs> and then I fuck, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna kill her. <laughs> So it could just be that. <laughs> and then you have leaders taking notes. <laughs> I went to a, I went to, the wife brought me to a cafe where you paint stuff like, cer it's a, like ceramics. Okay, yeah. And uh, like I was annoyed going in because like this is fucking stupid. But you know, I was painted I, like a child. We were, I was painting my, uh, I chose a mug and then I was painting it there. And uh, there was, I, I realized that I got annoyed at like the wrong time. And then I felt bad. Because I was just painting, mind my business, waiting for my coffee to get there. And uh, one of the employees comes to ask me, like, is everything okay? And kept asking questions if anything is okay. And I started to get frustrated. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm fucking painting. Like, don't distract yeah. me. Leave. But then I noticed it was a retard. Okay. Aww. And then I was like. <sighs> In a place where there's painting and ceramics, pretty much everyone's got to be retired. <laughs> <Right? laughs> But then I was like, oh, I'm such a fucking dick. Uh, so then I, I was like uh, jovial. I was like, ah, oh, no, everything's fine. <laughs> like I was like, oh, shit, man. Because at first I was getting, I was like, what the fuck? Why does this bitch keep asking me questions? But it was, she was just really trying to make sure that I'm happy. And, and I was like, oh, shit. And then I noticed in the voice, I go, that's a, that's a, that's a Poseidon. That's one of his tribe. <laughs> you, you have yeah. a special relationship with the retards. Well, I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> ever since that time at the Eaton Center, yeah. <laughs> ever since that time, I always have these these mishaps. There years ago, when I, I was working at uh, EA, it was connected to the Eaton Center, so I, I would go downstairs and eat lunch. Sometimes I was in the food court, and um, a guy was blocking me, and I couldn't get to. And it was, and I was like, bro, can you move? And he wasn't. What are you fucking retarded? And he turned around, bro. <laughs> Not only was he retarded, everyone that was with him, it was a group of retarded people with T-shirts. Everyone heard that. I yelled it loud. And then everyone that was sitting around was looking. And, so, and I, I wanted the earth to open up and swallow me. I was so embarrassed. Like, oh, fuck. And I went, like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> like, what are the odds? What are the odds that when I started, you fucking retarded him and his whole gang is retarded. Did they get mad or no? They just they didn't say much. They just looked around. Like, they I think were they were less, sad. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they were right. To, they were right. To, <laughs> <laughs> they were right to be sad. A man yelled at them, but they ended up winning that battle because I was the one who left in embarrassment and shame. Yeah. yeah, so victory for them. What have you been up to? Uh nothing much. Just uh, yeah, nothing much. You taking time off? Uh not really. Um, I don't even know what I did this week. I had a, a couple of. Uh, I I did a Suzy Kut. I had a. I did a roast battle, and uh, yeah, just, just keeping it simple. Just keeping it simple. Are you changing the days when you do the Suzy Kuts now? Yeah, I have to because we're doing the roast battles on Sundays. Uh, well, this week we're doing it Monday, but uh, last week uh, it, I was doing one on Sunday. You don't so. have to go to Quebec for those? Yeah. Oh, you have to go every time to Quebec City? Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, and plus like the, the one I'm doing this week and next week, it's just we're doing one one episode. So it's And it's a, you know, TV, they sell like fucking 9 million ads. So it's 22 minutes of TV. So I got to drive three hours to just go, okay, you were good. You suck. You've turned into me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. But are you annoyed or are you having fun on the road? No, I'm having fun on the road. The only thing is I hired a dude to redo my driveway at my country house because I've been living there now. And, uh, but the guy doesn't understand how fucking sh comedy works. He, he, cause he was, he was asking me a bunch of questions about comedy as he was doing the estimate And he was really cheap, so that's why I, I I chose him. And he looks like he knows what he's doing. But he was like, "Do you uh how do how do shows work? Do you call the theaters or do they call you?" And I was like, "No, I have a booker." I I and he goes, "Okay, you have a producer." I was like, "No, no, I produce shit myself." And then he was like, "You're a producer," and then I was like, "Yeah." So he was all impressed that I'm a producer. So he calls me up this week and he goes, "There's a festival in my town. Uh, the woman that's running it." 
doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. Your production company should take over. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't, I I don't, don't want to run I don't, I don't, yeah. a fucking festival in a village. And he was like, no, you're going to make a shit ton of money. Call her. Call her. And I was like, I'm not going to call her. And then he was like, you should call her. And I was like, look, okay, if, fuck, I don't, I don't produce, like, like. I don't no, know what's going on. What is, I, what is happening in this movie? He was like, you, you produce it, then you do a show. I was like, I don't, I don't call, I don't do shows like that. And then he was like, no, call her. And I was like, look, just get her to call my manager. Cause I figured it'll be easy. Michelle will just tell her to fuck off. Yeah. But then he's like, no, she doesn't know your manager. She knows you. So you have to call. And Jesus. I was like, I'm not going to call. And I didn't want to tell him to fuck off because he's like, my, my yard is all ripped up waiting for the guy to do it. So I was like, look, I, oh, fuck. and I talked to him for like 45 minutes trying to explain. This is crazy. I was never going to call. And then finally I was like, just leave her number in my mailbox. Smart. And he was like, okay, you're going to call. And I was like, yeah, just leave the number. I'll see what I'll do. Yeah, I'll call. When when he uh, when he follows up on what Chef Poseidon call, yeah, you should just be like, yeah, yeah, I called. She wasn't interested. This is uh, yeah. no, this is the office of Mike Ward, Poseidon speaking. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm, I'd I like am, to produce. What I am gonna do though is uh, like I'm just not gonna pick up. Once my yard is done, yeah, I'm yeah. just not gonna pick up. Imagine I'm gonna he comes block in the middle of the night number. and destroys what he did. Yeah, yo, you have this guy's details. Yeah, obviously. Uh, yeah, I have his phone number and uh, his face. That's all we need. Yeah. <laughs> but you should that would be funny if you have Poseidon representing you. So he's so hateable on the phone, she just doesn't want you to produce anything. Yeah. He's just asking stupid questions. Is there popcorn? Yeah, what about hookers? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is a village. I don't mind. Village village twat. That's cool. <laughs> twat de village. Twat de village. <laughs> yeah, the amazing. city's been fucking uh crazy. I've been trying to drive everywhere. Everything is blocked. Yeah. They're closing bridges on the way. It's like Gotham City again. Yeah, it took me an hour to get here. And today of all days, it should have taken you 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking insane. I don't understand if they're doing this on purpose or not at this point. We can't enjoy anything. I don't know. The weather's finally nice and they're fucking yeah. everything up. Oh, yesterday. Dude, so you know at the cafe thing where I went to paint? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's this huge parking lot. Huge parking lot. It's empty, obviously. Everything's dead except for that little place. So I go, I park, and this guy comes out from another restaurant. He goes, hey, are you here for that other place, the ceramic thing? And I go, yeah. He's like, uh, well, then you can't park there. I go, why? This is the mall park. It's part of the same mall, right? He goes, no, you park over there, closer to them. And it was all taken. I go, it's all taken there. He's like, no, no, this is for the restaurant. I go, but it doesn't say that anywhere. This is for every store in the mall. It's close to your restaurant, but it's not just for your restaurant. It's yeah, I could park here and go to the mm. Canada Post. Down, down, It doesn't matter. He's like, no, go park over there. And dude, the place is empty. So his store is empty and the parking lot is full. It's empty. There's no cars. So then I'm like, you know what? Because I don't want to be having to come out in case this guy has trouble with my car. So I park right, like I turn to the side, I park next to it. And I tell him, it's a good thing I parked over there. I go, because it's fucking, space is limited. I go in this fucking park. It's empty. It's my echo. It's just my space is fucking limited. I go, and this is, this is why people don't go, go to your restaurant. I go to them. This is why people don't come. And they're just giving me dirty looks. Like this way, like now I would, I never thought of going to that shitty restaurant. But, but now you're never going to Never going to go. Gonna go. Yeah. Dude, you know what it's like to tell someone in an empty lot, uh, don't park there because it's for my customers, which don't exist. And the whole place is empty. It's it changes nothing. I agree. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and you know which restaurant people. I'm talking about? Uh, no, I don't, I don't know what the fuck it's called, but it's a shitty restaurant. Yeah. Uh, I, hold on, I'm gonna. I'm you're gonna find it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a woman uh, yell at me uh, when I was doing the roast battle thing because the first day I went there, I did as a joke. I show up and. Behind, there's no parking. It's downtown Quebec City, like the old part of Quebec City. So there's no parking. But um, behind the theater, there were cones. It was reserved parking, I guess, for trucks and shit. Yeah. So I just show up and there are people outside smoking. As And as a joke, I just honk and I go, move those fucking cones. But And then I figured they'd laugh. But they were like, oh shit, Mr. Ward wants us to move the cones. <laughs> so they moved the cones. So I park and I'm like, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> And then the next day I go and there's no one there, but I'm like, I'm just going to get out and move, move the, the cones. Cone. But there's an old lady on her balcony and she's like, you can't park there. You can't park there. And I'm like, yeah, fuck off. Yeah. You know, I'm, I parked here yesterday. You can't park there though. You can't park. And I'm oh like, I know. God. Just shut up. And I yell, just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and then I see the woman and I realize she's like severely mentally 
Uh, uh, Welcome like, to my oh, world, Mikey. Fuck. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I told an old retarded lady to just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to join this cult? <laughs> uh, it felt liberating. Because <laughs> yeah. I was like, for oh, a moment, but yeah. then you feel shame. Because yeah. at first, when I told her to just shut up, I was like, oh, this fucking bitch is going to key my car or, or do something to my tires. But then when I saw her face, I was like, she can't even use the elevator. She can't tie her shoes. <laughs> She's going to be... <laughs> the worst she can do is jump off her balcony and die next yeah. to my car. It'll be sad, but it's not going to affect me. <laughs> I have splash guards anyway. So. So, some people take that shit seriously. Well, yeah. Remember when we were recording the French podcast that Just for Laughs? Yeah. So um, outside of where the entrance was... They had, because I guess they were doing some other tapings. They put, reserve, like, the first couple of days I was going there, I was paying for parking every day. Yeah. My parking and his, right? It was getting expensive. It was hours downtown, right? And then I noticed that the other times they were putting those uh, don't park here. It's reserved for just for laughs, people that were going. I go, what the fuck? So they didn't do that for me, who I'm here every day, but they do for other people. Fuck that. We're going to park there. So I'm in beside them. We're parked there. And then in case, because you know, there's always rats, right? So what I did is fucking sneaky. They had in the office upstairs, they had the, you know, these these white postcards with that has the Just for Laughs logo on yeah, one you side. Put that. And it's white on this side, just to write notes. Yeah. So I would just put it with the logo over there. So if anybody sees, like, oh, this guy must yeah. be legit. So we were getting away with it. One day we're there, we both park. I get out of the car. Do you remember when the 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 guy the, yeah, the oh, guy the long yeah, hair was yeah, there yeah, waiting yeah, for us? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. fucking guy sitting in his car smoking. I guess he's part of the production. He was trying to be an asshole. He was like this. Hey, uh, are you guys uh, part of the production? And right away, uh, besides, like, yeah, 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 we're producing, bro. Mind your business. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> like, zero, zero chance of me, like, oh, we're not. right away, he's like, yeah, we're producing, bro. Mind your business. Stay there and mind your business, he goes. And then I get out of the car, like, yeah. Like, I go like this. And the guy's like, okay. He continues. So I was like, oh, fuck. Like, because we knew if, we, if, we, if you yeah. mean it, if you go in serious, no one's going to question it. Yeah. No one's going to. Yeah. I always, that's what I know. I, I don't know when the switch happened to me. But now, as soon as I see a sign written reserved parking, it's for I'm me. like, I'm parking there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this close to doing that with uh, disabled parking. <laughs> Going, I'm diabetic. Yeah. It's technically a disability. Oh. Are you telling me I'm not disabled? <laughs> well, look, Mike, we'll talk after the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you, do you have contacts for those uh, lanyards? I can, but I can, I Look, everything's doable. Yeah, parking. everything. What yeah. I've learned is that everything is doable. Yeah. <laughs> Those things, yeah, are probably super easy to make too, because it's all you got to do is get a get your dad's uh, printing press, <laughs> 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 and then laminate it. But what they do now is, I, I, I saw that it's not just a thing in the front. It's your on license, license plate. plate. Yeah, because yeah. they caught on oh, to assholes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. But you could get those done too. You get anything you want done. Yeah, Fuck, true. I had a guy, I was following a uh, dude the other day when I was driving on the highway that, uh, he, like, he was driving like 180 on the oh, highway. Shit. He was driving really fast. So he passes me, and then I was like, Fuck, I'm going to follow this guy. Because he had a, he had a, like, a car that the max he could go was 180. So I was like, I'll follow him. If the cops see us, I'm behind them. They'll come after me. I'll just pass that guy. And then they'll stop that guy. So I'll be okay, right? So I start following the guy. The guy didn't have a license plate. And he <laughs> didn't have like a temporary plate. Really? So I don't know what the fuck he was doing. That's yeah. okay. I had the complete opposite happen with a no license plate guy coming back home. He, uh, Friday night from the nest. Uh, it was an Audi. It was a big Audi. And I was flashing my lights and honking at him because it was in the 50 zones. He was going 20 something. Oh, shit. And I was like, okay, what the fuck? But it was one lane. It was like on Bomo to turn up to go Lackady because I was trying to go home. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? And then we turned, and he's still doing So I flashed my lights again, nothing. And then I noticed, because I got really close. I was like, what the fuck's happening? No license, no sticker, or nothing. And I go next to him, and he was just, like, looking straight ahead. He was this just black guy. Just, like, nervous? And, yeah, looking. he was just looking, and he wouldn't look to the side. And I go, what are you saying? Is this a stolen fucking car? Because this is the worst thing you could do. Yeah. Go the limit. Don't go under, because yeah. you get people angry. You get, like, it's noticeable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was me at first. I go, am I just trying to go too fast? And I'm looking, and we're going like 19, 20. And then I look up, and it says 50. I go, this guy fucking kidding me. Yeah, because then you you stick out, right? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. That's a, to me, it stuck out. I was angry. But this whole weekend was uh, like near misses, shit like that. Like even yesterday, I was coming here to record a French cast, and uh, I almost beat up a guy on a, on a motorcycle. Like I was completely shocked. I was turning, um, and this guy, I guess, burnt a red light after I turned. And he was going super fast. It's 50, the, the thing. And I'm driving, and a few seconds after I take the turn, I hear like shitty honking because it was from motorcycles. I look back, this guy honking at me and he kept honking and he's like doing movements on his bike. I go, what the fuck? So we're slowing down the red light. 
And I, I make sure to be on the other lane now. So he comes next to me. So he fucking comes next to me and he shakes his head like this. So I go really close. I look at the window. I go, bro, what the fuck? I go, what do you want? Why are you honking? And he goes, oh, you don't see me when you took a turn. He goes, you don't know how fast I'm going. And I got so disgusted. Like, ugh, like you're blaming me because you're going 120 in a, in a 50 zone. And I have to look out for you. If you want to go that fast, you have to look out for yourself. Like, I don't know what the guy wanted me to do. He Because I, I didn't even see him burn the red light. You mm. know, but like, it's my problem now that this guy doesn't know how to drive well enough for the speed he's going. So for the first, I, I thought it like... I, it became calm because normally I'll get really aggressive, but it was so stupid what he said. And also the other lane was completely free. So if he wanted mm -hmm. to, he could have just been on the empty lane. So it was so dumb that I actually felt like pity. I was like, ugh. Yeah. Like I was this guy. I did the sound of ugh, and then he turned around. And I, ugh, and I just looked at him. Like, oh my, like I was so disgusted. Like the guy just burned some random yeah. light and uh, it was, I'm the problem because I'm driving normally. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy these fucking people. This last year has been fucking mental. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm pissed off at people on the fucking highway when it's 100 and they're going fucking uh, 80 and 70 yeah. and shit. It really pisses me the in fuck the off. Lane. Even, in the left lane. Even if they're going 130. If there's someone behind you, move the move fuck Move the over. fuck over, yeah. yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. But at least if you're going 130 and someone's behind you, it's a little bit more understandable because yeah. you're like, well, look, I'm going over the limit. But dude, when it's 100 and yeah. you're slowing everyone down, you're manufacturing traffic. It's not real traffic. You're making the traffic up. We should not be stuck in traffic, and you've made it happen. Well, it's usually because yeah. of that one asshole that goes 70 that fucking clogs everything. Yeah. It happens a lot. Here on the weekend, it's fucking crazy, and they close all the bridges and shit. Yeah. It's uh, completely absurd. But I noticed my peak times of going crazy is driving and playing ball hockey. Like a guy said it while we were playing ball hockey. He goes, he's, it's fucking weird. He goes, because every time we're like, normally he goes, like uh, if I'm watching you on the podcast, he goes, or if you're here talking, you're like laughing, you're saying things. He goes, and then even hockey, you're like, all right, guys, you're old. Don't take it too seriously. Calm down. And the second somebody makes like a dumb mistake, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he goes, your switch is fucking hilarious. And I'm like, fuck, it's true. Yeah, that's how I am driving too. It's the only two extreme. Even video games, I don't take that seriously. If I ever sit down and play a game, I don't get as mad as I used to when I was younger. But ball hockey, if you're an adult and you do something completely stupid, I lose my yeah. fucking shit. Yeah, I'm just like that in my car. Yeah. I'm super zen. I never want to kill anyone. But as soon as I'm in my car on the highway, not even on the street, just on the highway. Like when you're walking, you mean? Yeah, when I'm walking, I don't get no, aggressive. No, I mean, even like I'm driving like a little... You're, oh, you're calm. Little, little streets, I'm calm. But it, as soon as I'm on the highway, I'm like, move the fuck over. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I fucking hate following. I hate uh, taxis on the highway. Because taxis in the city will drive fast, but as soon as they go on the highway, it's like they fucking panic and they're driving like 70. Why is that? Uh, I don't they know. Because the, the, uh, the for money? Well, the, the, yeah, they want to, the, because uh, taxis work with time and distance. But you're traveling but the same just, distance. Just go on the fucking slow lane. Yeah, but aren't you traveling the same distance whether you go faster or slower? No, no, yeah, but the, the meter also works on time. Really? Of course, because if you stay part, if they stay, oh yeah, they still, you, oh okay, still and it charge. makes that much of a difference that they'll make money by going that slow. Yeah, but you know how some of these assholes are, bro. You think they by these are we? What race of people are we yeah. talking about? The taxi drivers, hmm. Afghani nationals. <laughs> The side is not just anti-Taliban; it's anti-Afghanistan. They, they could they could drive slow though in the slow lane, right? Oh, but they go on the left. They yeah, go anywhere they want. Nobody they, cares. They, they, because they in their mind they're like, I'm a crazy taxi driver. I drive faster than ever, everyone. But then they're driving like 52 on the fucking pa in the passing lane. Yeah, yeah I, I hate that shit, nuts. bro. You're telling me, and I'm getting anxious. That's how fucking yeah. weird I am. Yeah, I hate I hate people on the left. And then the worst is when you flash your fucking lights at them. You're like, okay, I'll give you a chance, flash, and they just look at you in the rear view, and then they go, as if you're not there, you're like, motherfucker, bro, I start shaking on the steering wheel. <laughs> I don't know if we should be getting mad at that. Like, I'm noticing, I don't know if I'm just insane. Like, real stuff that I should get mad at, I don't feel like I get mad enough. And then dumb things, mm. I lose my fucking mind. Well, it's not dumb. You Like, you're in the passing lane. You should only be there if you're constantly passing people. I guess, The yeah, moment yeah. you stop passing people... Move the fuck over. I do the same thing. The moment I'm like, you know what? I want to take it easy. I'm going to roll 110, 100. I move yeah, over yeah. right away. Yeah, same here. Yeah, I move over when someone's coming up my so ass. it's not yeah. complicated. I had a guy once write me, uh, like he was like, uh, 
he was like, I, I, you cut me off on the highway. And you, and the way he said it, if he just said you cut me off on the highway, I would have been like, ah, yeah, sounds like me. But he was like, I was, I was in the fast lane and then you, you went on the side of the highway and you passed me and you cut me off That's, and you almost uh, no, hit my car. Uh, and I was like, I'd never do that. I'd I've never, never done do that. that. And then he was like, I was like, what day? And then he was like, you were going to do a show in Val d'Or on this day. And it was on Auto Route 10 or uh, whatever, the 15. Yeah. And I was like, I took a plane. I, like, I was on a plane. <laughs> what a... I was like, so if I, if I cut you off, it's not my fault. It's a fucking Air Canada guy. Yeah, yeah. If I cut you <laughs> yeah. off, yeah. Well, He's on. looking up. He's like, you son of a bitch yeah, cutting me off. He just saw a guy in a car and he thought it was me. A guy that I guess kind of looked like me. And then he was retard. like, that fucking Mike Ward. Hey, gonna, you get shit for stuff yeah. that's not even bad or yeah. you didn't even do. I, I, yeah, at first I was apologizing to the guy. I was like, look, I'm sorry. Because he was like, you put my wife and my kid's life in danger. And I was like, look, I don't remember. And then when he told me the date and I saw that I was on a plane, I was like, you motherfucker. You also, made me feel like shit. Did I you was, tell him off after? Yeah, I told oh, him to fuck off. Him. Also, if he cares about his wife, uh, uh, wife's and children's uh, safety, uh, move out of the passing lane if you're not passing anyone. There's that too. Though. It's There's dangerous. Too. It's legit dangerous to do that. Oh, well. I give the yeah. dirtiest looks. So, so you're saying if someone uses the passing lane that have a wife and kid, then they hate their family if they're if no, they're no, staying no. there. It's now I know. I think yeah. no. I think so long as you're passing people on the left lane. By all means. Does the gender and or race of the person bother you? No. More or less? No. So if you get into a near miss with someone, are you more or less likely to react a certain way depending on who or what they are? If they're a woman, yes. Okay. You, If you're a woman, you let it slide more or you get more mad? Uh, I'll get more mad, but I'll let it slide. Okay. okay. Why do you get more mad if it's a woman? Because like fuck, now we're letting them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you said now we're letting them. <laughs> hold on, because you said you'll let it slide. Also, if it's a yeah, woman, right? Yeah. So you let it slide. Why? Because you think they're more docile. No, but like what you, do you think they do? don't understand. Like why? No, but actually I don't because one time, uh -oh. one, one time, bro, I was downtown and I, I pulled her out of her car, put her <laughs> arm in between, and started closing the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, one time I was downtown. I was, I think it was uh, what uh, Saint Antoine. I think it was. I had to take a right, and she was taking a left. Mm. So the light turned green, and she speeds up, cuts me. I have oh, right away. Yeah, I'm, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm already angry. This fucking bitch. You were right? taking your belt off. <laughs> <laughs> So I start following her, right? He takes I, it. It's just a wife beater. Well, <laughs> every turn she takes, I take it. I'm right behind her. I'm like, I, I, I think I was going to court or some shit. I really was. You're like that police. I think song. I was going to court. Well, I was leaving. I was leaving from court. That, that's possibly. the best. Yeah. I just got off for something similar. <laughs> I have no I was, problem beating the shit out of you. I was here. leaving court. I was leaving court and I started stalking a lady. And the last one I beat up, I was fucking. So yeah. I have no issues oh beating God, the shit no. out of you. <laughs> So I start following her, and then at some point she takes a left mm -hmm. and parks her car and she rolls down her window. And I roll down my window. She goes, what's your problem? I go, like this. I go let me ask you a question. And she goes, what? I go, who has right away uh, when when the light turns green, the person turning right or the person turning left? No, but why Why are you doing it? Why are you aggressive? Shut the fuck <laughs> up, you stupid fucking bitch, and answer my fucking question. Was who she has... doing this while, while you were yelling? No, but she had, She was like in shock. Yeah. I'm like, who has right away? Who has right away? She goes, you, you do. do. Thank you. Now so shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Don't do that again. And I, I took off. <laughs> good. You made me feel damn. good now. Good. <laughs> good. Yeah, God, so damn angry. it. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I rage also on the... Yeah. God That's damn, his I feel bad for that lady. <laughs> you know what, though, Mike? I don't. I don't. You uh, want to play? You want to be in a man's world? <laughs> you want to be in a man's world, sweetheart? You want to yeah, tussle with the big boys? <laughs> I like how he said you want to tussle. He assumed that that was an invitation to tussling. Yeah. He just does this. Mm, see? <laughs> <laughs> you want equality? <laughs> Poof. <laughs> I got your equality uh, right here. Put, put your dukes up. Let's go. Maturing, maturing ah. is realizing Chris Brown didn't beat Rihanna. He won a fight. <laughs> <laughs> did he win that fight though? It, it cost him a lot. Yeah. yeah, it did cost him a lot. Yeah. Do you remember that story? Yeah, I remember it. She she took his keys or some shit. Oh, she even hit him. She was hitting him repeatedly and shit like that. And eventually, uh, eventually, like he just it was like enough is enough, and he beat the shit out of her. 
Yeah, but and you can I'm use the enough this. is enough excuse for push. Like, let's say if if your girl is hitting you and you hold her back, and then she gets a bruise on her neck because you were holding her. Yeah, th- then that's enough is yeah, enough. enough is enough work but, there. But as soon as you're punching someone th- and her eye is fucking a no, little I'm, closed, I'm not. I, that's I, that's I, the I, more than I, enough. I agree. They don't call me Chris Brown for nothing. I'm a brown belt, and he yeah. just fucking kicks her. I agree with you guys. I'm not condoning that Karate shit. Karate chop. I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying. But I God would damn. never even uh, hit a woman back. I'd be like, okay, pack. I shit. think you would. I think you would. But it would take. It would have to be car related because that's when you get really uh, frustrated. No, because a woman. Here's has, what I think. I, and she's this ran is into me, destroyed my car. I, I remember that, but you felt bad because she was all apologetic. I think if the same situation as the woman that ran into you, remember when she hit you with her car when she was completely wrong? I think if the same situation would have happened, the same woman, but her reaction was, fuck you, stupid. You can't see where I'm going. I think you would have decked her so hard and fast. Look, not decked. Not decked. But look, maybe a bit of a backhand. I think you would have spit on her. (laughs) A leg leg kick. (laughs) A leg kick. I think you would have went for the leg sweep. You would have pulled a Mortal Kombat and then, (laughs) get over here. (laughs) I think for sure she had a different attitude because when she she was completely wrong, she was drunk too, she apologized. She was high as a kite, yeah. Yeah, So and she apologized. She was completely wrong. He was turning left and she, while he's turning left, she's behind him. She was driving and went in the opposite lane (laughs) <laughs> so it was completely her yeah Damn. it was completely her fault uh, fuck so, that used to work in daytona usa <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. That so was my move so she apologized so amy's like oh fuck she's a dumb bitch but she apologized she was gonna work it out so i get him but i know his attitude if you don't admit that you fucked up he would have beat the shit out of that woman oh. and i'm not i'm not yeah. condoning it oh my god so you think if the woman like got out of the car and she was like you dumb motherfucker oh yeah he would have went crazy because he knows he's in the right he knows there's no if, like she went to the opposite lane to hit mm-hmm. him, so he wouldn't have been able to accept it. He would have went fucking crazy. Yeah, that's true. And if I, she pushed him, <laughs> it would have been over. He went like, uh-oh, equal rights. Soft yeah. hands. Yeah. <laughs> How many times would you hit her before you realized what you were doing? Like three, Look, uh, here's four? The thing. the thing is, I would never feel threatened by a woman like my life. I would never- I mean, No, I'm, it wouldn't be threatened. It would just be unless anger. Unless she pulled out a knife. Unless she pulled out a knife and I really legit felt like, oh, she could kill me. Then I wouldn't. I would see red. So you'd just hit her. She'd fall. Would you get on her and no, ground and I'd pound her? Yeah, smack I don't think he'd ground okay. and pound. No, but no, that no. would be hilarious. I'd smack her. She'd fall over. I'm like, that's what you get, bitch. <laughs> and then what would you? So the cops would show up and they'd be like, so let me get this straight. She's 100 in the wrong. She hit your car, or whatever. And then you proceeded to smack her around. Yeah. No, so now we have me. two if different had, cases. Yeah. No, if she attacked me, if she, she attacked me. Yeah. If she lunged at she me, she started out in the wrong, and then you know. Oh, and, yeah. also and then I too yeah. try to make things right because, as you know, Your Honor, yeah. two wrongs make a right. <laughs> fire with fire, bro. Yeah. yeah, but if they came, I think you would have. If you smacked around, I think you still would have won. You know why? Because she was drunk. She clearly yeah. hit you from the wrong lane. Yeah. So you would have said, "Yeah, she lunged at me." They would have been like, "I mean, you seem to be the yeah. most believable person and in this." Yeah. Had I been, had I been, I wasn't even fully turned, eh? She she might have broken your bones. Oh yeah, bro. Because she was coming like because I looked in my rear view. I'm like, this is weird. She's kind of this person's coming a little fast. Let me let me turn quickly. Yeah. And that's when she tried to to overtake me. If I was fully turned and she t boned me, <laughs> oh bro, I would have been fucked uh, heavy, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was a that was a serious shit. Luckily, we, I was luckily she hit me like this. We maybe would have had wheelchair side on them. Yeah. 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 She hit me like this and kind of scraped my car and and went went off. But if she, had she hit me like this, that did she started? stop right away? Huh? Did she stop right away? She tried to get away. No, she fucked up her car, bro. She was in shock. She was like, oh my God, oh my God. She was like, I'm sorry. I just smoked weed. I don't have my license. I don't have the registration. It's not my car. Holy yeah. shit. She's admitting yeah, to so many wrongs. Yeah. yeah. She's a fucking train wreck. She went to the bank, you said. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah She's yeah. a train wreck. Oh, I remember going to the bank and uh, the, her manager tried to give me shit. Yeah, it, it, he because I think she was avoiding him, but she had to pay him or something. Yeah. And the manager tried to like stand up for her, and Poseidon was having none of it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he she's in the wrong. Yeah, what did what did the guy tell you? I don't remember. He's like, uh, I was like, uh, I was like, hey, is so and so here? I need to speak to her. So why do you need to speak to her? I go, oh, just something happened. You know, accident with the car. There's that. She needs to sign off on some details, and then that's it. You're not allowed to harass people at the workplace. Nah, nah, nah. I guess he was white knighting or some shit. Cause yeah, she yeah. was, she was hot. Like I would have 
fuck the shit out of her. Yeah, it was white night. And uh, and uh, he's like, you know, you're harassing. I can uh, I can file a complaint. I would have right away turned around. I go, you want to call the cops right fucking now? Your employee who was high as a kite, no registration, yeah. admitted to all this, and almost fucking killed me. Call the cops right now, you stupid son of a bitch. I should have replied like that. Yeah, you, you want a right? white knight? Because yeah. of your fucking idiocy, you're gonna land her in fucking jail. Go call the fucking call the cops right now, I you sh- fucking I idiot. I should have replied like that. But you know, bro, calm down, bro. What are you What are you saying, bro? Uh, first of all, I'm a client here. Yeah. Go, second Shut of all, the fuck up. Uh, no, no, she has to. Do you think that's why it. he treated you like that? Because he knew the amount of money you have in your bank account. Yeah, he's like, listen no, here, no, no. minus forty seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, he hadn't seen my bank account. He was just the manager. But How funny would that be? He actually <laughs> reminded you. Me. Listen here, negative eight hundred. <laughs> Do you think though? I think probably a bank manager. Might be like, you know how some people can just look at you and they know exactly how much you weigh? Yeah. Maybe a, b- uh, a bank manager knows exactly the amount you have in your account just by looking at you. Yeah, oh, it's possible. It's kind of like how car salesmen eventually got used to we knew who was coming in seriously, who was fucking around. Like you get. Yeah, you already told us that and it wasn't magic. It was all race based and it was fucking offensive. No, it wasn't. Mm. What do you mean? It was race based. It was 100% not race based. Really? Yeah. How, right. So what's the trick? And now yeah. he's going to be like, okay, get rid of the yeah, bad look, words. Yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him. Well, look. If look, at, look I love the sweat on well, his look, forehead. Well, look, look, bro. If they're immigrants, they're paying cash, right? So you got to add some cash. And so, cash. so there's no, nothing, <laughs> nothing race racial based. about this. <laughs> if they're immigrants, they could be white immigrants. Yeah. <laughs> From the UK. <laughs> yeah. So immigrants always pay cash. And when no, you no, say immigrant, what do you mean? <laughs> No, but you could tell what I mean by is you could tell the person that that when they by, would walk by the in. by the lump in their pocket no, by their paying no, cash by, by not by their behavior mostly if they had money you know because it's it's like clients always always try to play a game with you especially in car sales Tetris no no they try to play a game of like tag I have money he wants it tic tac toe is a funner you game. know what I mean less people get hurt yeah so usually the people with the most amount of money would always go uh, okay what kind of deal can you work out for me? So you knew these motherfuckers had money, you know, because they have more money. They want to protect it. Oh, so people who don't it? have money want to spend more. That makes no, perfect no, 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 sense. No, no, no. Yeah. People, uh, people who didn't have um, uh, that much money. So anyone that wouldn't negotiate, if they came in, they were like, how much is that card? 19,000. They'd be like, here's 19,000. You'd be like, listen here, peasant. No, yeah. no, no. Take I your money, get the fuck out of here. Of yeah. I want that rich man over there that wants to give me 6,000. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but people who didn't have money, they, they would ask for exorbitant amount of discounts. So you knew they couldn't afford it. So like, what if uh, what if you give me this car without the steering wheel? No, no. So like, let's say the car was twenty thousand. Keep two of the doors. <laughs> I don't need. I don't need four doors. Yeah, I don't need four doors. Uh, there's never anybody in the back. No. I'll just take the two front doors. But, but let's say the car was worth like twenty thousand. They asked something like, oh, "I'm only willing to go to twelve thousand because of the monthly payments." And there's that you knew they weren't making much. You know what I mean? Or they were just fucking around. Like one time I went That's to his possible. dealership just because I forgot what the reason was. He wanted me to fuck with someone. Do you remember when I went? When you used to work at Honda on uh, the carry. Oh, yeah. The, you were looking for a Honda Fit or some shit. I wasn't looking for a fucking Honda Fit. I came in to see you, you dickhead. And then some guy He's approached me. He's fucking going to ceramics classes. <laughs> yeah. He's buying a Honda Fit. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck happened? Yeah. God damn yeah. it. <laughs> so oh, he, yeah, but I remember you, you yeah, came yeah. to fuck with this guy. So yeah. I came because somebody was bothering him there, whatever. So I came to fuck with the guy. So I went in. and Another I, salesman? Another salesman. So I went in and I ruined the guy's night. I made him lose like two hours. So the And, and he filled up all these contracts. And I was like... Yeah. I'm going to sleep on it, actually. And I walked out, and the guy's like, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Wait? And they kept calling me. I was like, yeah, there's something about this uh, doesn't doesn't feel right. And he had given me all the trim. He put me in a fit, which was like, he didn't realize that I was joking about how, I go, this is an awesome looking car. Yeah, yeah. I look I look like a real gangster in it, right? He's like, yes, sir. I go, this guy's a oh, fucking, a I go, this guy's a fucking what dope. A yeah. Two hours of his life I wasted. Oh, yeah, no. I drove it around. I went fucking, I was I was going crazy. I was fucking speeding in those back alley areas. The, the yeah, 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 the guy was panicking. Like I went fucking nuts on him. And then he's like, oh, nice. I got this sale, whatever. Because I asked for stuff that I don't need. I go, give me two sets of carpets. Give me this. I went fucking crazy. Something doesn't feel right about this. I go, you got a manager? And then uh, I was like, yeah, this guy, something doesn't feel right about it. He's like, really? Yeah, there's something off. I don't know. I'm, uh, I, you were close. You were close. This guy, well, you don't know, ruined it. <laughs> oh, I think it was the guy with the pink suits and shit. Oh, I, I remember what he was wearing, but. 
Yeah, because he was fucking busting his balls. So I go, I got this, bro. And he didn't tell me anything. I just showed up one day and he just saw me from a distance. Like, what is he doing here? And then I, and he kept seeing me for two hours in and out, fucking around. I wasted the guy's time so he couldn't make a sale. Uh, I used to, when I was bored and when I was dead at that dealership, I wasn't there for too long. But I would take the, the Honda Fit, the manual one, and I would practice my uh, manual driving. Because I don't, I don't accept that. People fuck with my, my homies. I don't accept that. No. How did you know that you were fucking with the right guy? Because of him. I went and told him in Greek. Okay. I, he's like, oh, what is it? I go in Greek. Oh, I hope you've yeah, seen him. Yeah. Like, who's the eye guy? And he goes, that guy. So I would go around him. I was looking. And he's like, can I help you? And as soon as I had him, I go, of course you can. I go, but I want this to go quick. I really need a car. On top of it, that eye guy, he's not allowed to do that, by the way. What? Since, since you no, no, were no. his client? No, no, no. He wasn't. A, first of all, what he did, I, I, I think I know. I remember who you're talking about. Uh, well, if you don't with, remember who I'm talking about, that, that means, means that a lot of people were was fucking with, fucking with you yeah. at that dealership. No, no, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the guy with the weird suits. Uh, I can't remember what he looks like in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember what he looks like, but I just remember like colorful suits. Anyways, so uh, so this guy fucking dressed like a used car salesman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They all, Fuck. they all, they all do normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! And he wasn't because we had a system implemented. So uh, at that dealership, I only had Ford. They were dressed like accountants. But when I went to his Honda, they all dressed weird. They all they all dressed like they were um, slick, like Miami yeah, yeah, Vice. Yeah, yeah, type. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, actually, it was half and half. Half the staff was like that, which I found weird. Actually, you were dressed like an accountant more. You were, yeah, like, yeah. exactly. Me, I like the professional look of it. Yeah. I didn't like mm. the whole flam. Like, calm down, bro. You. But I ruined crazy. that guy's fucking night, man. Yeah, and uh, he wasn't even allowed to do that because we had a system back then implemented that you can only take walk-ins if it's your turn at the the receptionist desk. Oh, okay. I don't know. So yeah, we had a whole. So he wasn't yeah. even allowed to do that. So it's good that you wasted his time. Fuck him. I mean, it's good. You're the one. I did it for you. But he was <laughs> yeah. nervous when he saw me come in. And then I go because when I told him still, in Greece, he's still angry that that guy s- stole you from him. He but, was like, no, 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 I, that was my fit. Could have wasted two hours of no, my but life. But, I mean but his <laughs> face. The reason why he was nervous is because I never told him I was going. He didn't know what was happening. So when I told him in Greek, who's the guy? And he says that guy, you know, he's giving me hints at that guy. He didn't know what I was going to do. Yeah. He didn't know why I'm approaching him, if I was going to attack him. So he was just like talking to a customer and looking over. He's like, what's what's happening? And then I just started asking, oh, I'm lo- oh you lo- yeah, yeah. And then I started to fucking, I reeled him in. Like he would reel people in and it, all the shit he would bully him for. I reeled him in, reeled him in and wasted his fucking time. I go, because I want you to know I'm not going to leave here without a car. And the guy's like, fuck. <laughs> well, he would attempt uh, to bully me. Yeah. I don't remember what your story was with him, but I remember I you getting bullied. Either, bro. I don't. I don't. I don't even care at this point. I, th- that's because of because of that situation. That's why I would never get a Honda because that's the only Honda thing I knew, and because they were mean to him. Like he had a yeah, but you can't. It's dealerships are all different. Like I had a very good experience with my youngest brother at another Honda dealer. They were super chill. Yeah. Like, um, the uh, the um, my brother bought a four door manual Civic, and bro, the they gave him a great deal. A fantastic deal. Manager stepped in. The guy's like, you know what? You found because we had found. An exactly identical car to, to that one, but in gray, the theirs was gray, and the, we had found another white one at uh, this other dealership. It's white, it's all right. And I go to him, look, bro, we found this one. It's exactly the same trim, same year, same model, uh, say, uh, same mileage, same everything. Look at the price of this one. And, and so the guy the brought it down? Yours. So right away, the manager was like, you know what? I think it. Slash the price right away. I was like, here you go. And on top of it, I think he understood Greek because uh, my brother was like, because we got such a good deal. Initially, my brother wanted winter tires. I go, he goes, my brother goes to me, what about winter tires? I go to him in Greek. I go, ah, don't worry about winter tires. I know people will find you a brand new set for a fantastic price. Don't worry. I think the guy understood a bit of Greek because he was like um, his wife or some shit. And, uh, and the guy's like, and he turns around. You know a lot about this guy's life. Yeah, and, yeah, bro. And yeah. he was like, and he, can, cause he, and he turns around and he's like, and you know what? I'll find you a, 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 a like a pair, not a pair, a four used winter tires. It would have been better if he found you a pair of winter tires. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, uh, I'll get you two. <laughs> no, like, uh, you, you put them across each other like yeah. this. No, no, four used uh, winter tires, but at like excellent condition, like very good condition. So don't worry about it. It's like, oh shit, that was weird. So they, they hooked us up big time uh, for my brother. But then yeah. the fucking business manager tried to fuck him over. Oh, yeah, I remember all this. hell broke loose. And then he went over there. I don't like any So of your this. good experience ended with your uh, brother, tr- someone trying to screw your brother yeah, in that the, place. Yeah, the business manager, but that's because now dealerships, what I found out is they outsource uh, their business managers. Ever my since my lease is ending in uh, February. So who knows where I'll go? I'm always looking for a good deal. I had Honda treated me like garbage years ago when I first started to make money. I always had shitty, shitty cars. And I was like, I want something new. And I was like, I'll buy a Honda Accord. 
So I go into the Honda place. I'm looking at the Accord, and the guy was like, "Nah, you can't afford this." No, what? Yeah, he was like, "No, nah, you'd be better off with the uh, the Civic. I'll get you a used Civic." And I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Yeah, you're you're better off with the used Civic." And I was like, "You motherfucker!" So then I left and I bought a Mercedes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, that's amazing. Yeah. What wow. a fucking weirdo. What a, what a we yeah. But no, you're always taught to never do that shit. Yeah. Even people that you know. You keep saying that. You keep saying you're always taught, you're always told. Haven't you? Know, no one follows these rules that you're living in your head. Yeah. Because uh, uh, the guy, like, that's I. That's why you fail. I had right, a friend man. who was, uh, who had a bit of money, and I told him that story, and he was like, I was like, I was almost. Uh, like forgiving the guy for treating me like shit. I was like, yeah, but I looked poor. I was, you know, I was, I had old jeans on and an old t-shirt. He was like, who cares? Yeah. He goes, go, go to Mercedes dress like that. They'll think you're the richest person in the world. Yeah. And then I went to Mercedes and I bought a car I couldn't afford. But so you made a horrible, he's like, yeah. I made a horrible life decision, <laughs> but the, they treated me so nice. I can't say no. Yeah. How much were the payments on that? No, I, I actually, I, I bought a Mercedes I could afford, and I paid cash for it. Oh, that's badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah and I told the guy, because I had called my bank, I, uh, I paid cash with Interact, and I was like, I'm just going to put this on my, uh, on my bank card. He was like, no, you can't do that. I was like, yeah, you can. It was, because uh, I'd called up, I paid like, I think 20, and you can, your limit is 1,000 or 2,000, yeah, yeah. but if you call them, it can be whatever. Yeah. So then the guy was like, "You, this isn't going to pass. I was like, it's going to pass. That's and fucking amazing. Yeah. And what did he say when it passed? He was like, oh, shit, first time I, but he, it was like the shittiest Mercedes they had. Like, it was an old used one for 20 Gs. It would be funny if while you're driving off, you're like, that was fraud. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they used to get fraud all the time. The cards, oh man, people used to fraud that shit all oh, the time yeah, when I was the early yeah. days. People would swipe all kinds of shit, bro. I remember I found out when I was young, it used to happen all the time at uh, the Zellers in Kodanej. I knew it because they would give me trouble if any time, like someone would, like my mom would give me a card or whatever when I was gonna go buy something. They would, bro, all these questions. They thought that I stole the cards and stuff. Mm. They had to double check because they kept getting people going to the video game. Because at the video game section, they used to have a video game section and the other, but the video game section was the only. Other cash. So you have the regular cash register in the front, and then the video game section had its own cash register. So what people would do is, in the neighborhood, they would steal cards, go to the video game section, and buy whatever it was at the time, a PlayStation, Super Nintendo 60, whatever the fuck it was, and then I guess sell it, whatever they would do. So they would get away with it. They would go. They would keep going with the same card, but not make suspicious. They would get one console, one console, shit like that. So then, And they were young. So then they started to get really hardcore on all the young kids, and I never did any fraudulent stuff, and I used to always have to suffer because of it. I used to always have... It would take forever. Sometimes one lady wanted to call my mom and shit. I was like, what oh the God. fuck, man? This is crazy. Yeah. Uh, but I was young. I wasn't angry. I was just like, I was always embarrassed. I always, it was fucking weird because I always thought I did something wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they make you feel guilty. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I'd feel, and then I was like, why am I feeling guilty? Like I did, like, oh, I didn't rob my mom. Like just call her. You know, so I used to yeah, always yeah. have situations like that. Yeah. God damn. I remember the Zellers. That was fun. Remember Zellers? Yeah. Good times in that place. Yeah. Yeah. I used I to buy CDs too. And they had the, the, like the, did that sellers have a little restaurant? They had a restaurant in Kodanesh. Yeah, attached that was what garbage. A shitty little restaurant. Yeah, they they overreached. Yeah, you can't do all that. Yeah, when I was little, they, it's because of Zellers. I stopped stealing stuff in stores because I used to always go steal uh, cassette tapes. Okay, because they they were super small, and uh, I I went in one time and I was just. Like, at first I was just stealing music that I liked, but then I was, like, just stealing anything because I liked breaking the, the thing they oh, were yeah, in yeah, to protect yeah, yeah, yeah. it. So I had stolen a bunch of those. And then when I got out to ride my bike back home, someone had stolen my bike. No! And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, okay. Karma. I, I don't believe in karma, but I was like, okay, yeah, I can't bitch that someone stole my bike when I came here to steal fucking tapes that's amazing yeah. though so that's then i walked home and i never stole anything again after that you just need a good lesson yeah yeah one time my um it's probably my dad that stole my bike that'd be amazing <laughs> oh his dad yeah oh, i found good business you go to zealous don't go inside outside there's bikes for free he left the tires <laughs> i remember when i was young in park x one of my friends he got uh, arrested a cop stopped him because he went to steal because uh i don't know a lot about bikes but some people have like really expensive bicycles Okay, yeah. And the way it was tied up, I guess from a tire or whatever, he went in the middle of the night, he rode his bike and then stole the other guy's bike, I think somewhere uh, like 
Park Avenue or some shit like that. And he stole the other guy's bike, but he left the other guy's tire there. Like basically, the only way he was able to get it is by removing by the guy's tire. Yeah, by tire. something like that, or one or two tires. So then he was basically riding his bike while dragging that one in the middle of the night. Oh, <laughs> and so the cops saw him and stopped him. And they go, is this your bike? Like, Because he was riding a shitty bike and he had like a really expensive bike on his back. So they asked questions and they caught him. Ah, oh, what yeah. a dummy. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't go to jail for that kind of shit. Yeah, of course It's just not. like a fine. They called his yeah. parents. Like that. But uh, I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. But yeah, they caught him. When I found the next day, I go, how did he get caught? He goes, well, because he's fucking going down the street, bro, fucking, <laughs> with another fucking bike on it. It looks so suspicious. Yeah. God damn. I thought he got you away figure you'd take little side streets. To get to Park X, you really can't if you're on Park Avenue because there's just that one way to go yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. there's you the know? train tracks. Yeah, the train tracks. Oh, so yeah. you go under the bridges, the two bridges. And you don't think in your head... Like, someone's going to stop me because I have a bike. Like, when you're doing it, it's like when you have bags. Even yeah. if you stole shit or whatever, you don't think they're going to stop me. But it was just so obvious, and everybody used to steal shit. Like, in Pakistan at the time, all, all our cool stuff that we used to use was mostly stolen from TMR. Like, That's all right. our hockey nets that we would use outside for ball hockey, it's like, oh, we don't have hockey nets, you know? We can't afford to buy them. Oh, don't worry about this. So we just go to TMR, walk around, and people just leave the shit out. They trusted yeah. each other because they were honest human beings. <laughs> 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 and we would just take everything. So then uh, our neighborhood started to go up in value. <laughs> <laughs> it explains why they hated us, though. Yeah, they had to put up a fucking fence. Yeah. It's the only neighborhood that's segregated like that. Halloween? Yeah. yeah, Halloween. But again, that was our fault, bro, because we used to do the day before Halloween. So it, they made them look like they were evil people because they wouldn't let Park X kids trick-or-treat in TMR. But even though that is shitty, it was my generation and the generation before me's fault because normally on Mad Night, the night before, we'd go to TMR and we'd destroy the place. Egg houses, toilet paper, all that shit. So they're like, you know what? Fuck these little delinquents. <laughs> We're closing the fucking fence. No. And then all the other kids the next day, the young kids that want to go trick-or-treating would suffer. Ah, uh, yeah. I remember that. Because if you want to get good candy, you go to TMR. I bro. think at some point they opened it up though again. Yeah, I after a while a they kid, opened it up. Because uh, then we got older, we stopped. For, like the, the younger generation wasn't going to attack. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never house. thought of that when I was little to go trick-or-treating at a, a rich, rich neighborhood. neighborhood. Yeah. yeah, Quebec City in those days didn't really have... Well, we had a couple rich neighborhoods, but they were too far from my house. So like I was in a middle, lower middle class neighborhood. So to go from lower class, middle class... Lower middle to middle. You don't notice the difference. Yeah. They're, yeah. yeah. they're going to be shit candy anyway. But there you notice the difference because you go into the neighborhood and, and everything's full decorated. Bars. Yeah, full ah. Snickers. Everything's decorated. Yeah. There's lights. There's go like It felt cool, you know? But the night before, I remember when we were in high school, we'd ruin it for a lot of people. I remember the cops, the TMR cops stopping us once. And they're so stupid, bro. They're so dumb. Because uh, one of my guys, who then he became a waiter. But he had everything on him. He had... He used to have, he was the first guy that had those messenger bags. I remember. Okay. I think he had those and he had whatever, you, eggs, spray paint, toilet, everything. And while they're talking to us, these cops, these fake cops asking questions, he's just dropping stuff. Just dropping, letting everything go, letting everything, in case, because he didn't know what if they check him, right? And then he walks away, but they're three feet from us, all the stuff on the floor. And the guy sees the stuff on the floor. He's like, huh, what the fuck is that? Is that your stuff? And the guy's like, no. I'm like, all right, we'll keep it moving. But it was so obvious. It was like a cartoon. I go, he clearly dropped everything in front of you. Like, w w there's a mountain of whatever you want. There's a carton of eggs. This, that. They're so stupid. I guess they didn't want to deal with the hassle. There's like, there's yeah, fucking 15 or, kids here. Yeah, or if they can't prove it or some shit. Like, but they're not even real cops. Speaking of getting rid of evidence, have you seen the guy attaching his drugs to balloons and letting it float away when he gets pulled over? <laughs> you guys haven't seen that shit? No, that's hilarious. So he has balloons in his car? I guess. Yeah, look, hold on. I'll bring up the video for you. you guys and he opens the sunroof? No, no, his window. He rolls down his uh, driver's side window and lets out balloons. And uh, balloons had drugs attached to them, obviously. It you just lets go. I like I said, obviously, because, you know, when you let yeah. balloons go, they have drugs. You figure the cop would just shoot a balloon. But I guess you can't shoot a balloon because then your bullet will go in the neighborhood. Yeah, maybe. You don't want to. Okay, look, I accidentally murdered that lady. Yeah. But we got that fucking guy for his little yeah. bag of coke. Yeah, we got nine grams of weed. <laughs> I, are you sure it's a real thing? Yep, it was a video. I don't know. Fuck, I, I want to start doing that, even even though I don't have any drugs on me. Just as soon as a cop pulls me over, just let a balloon out. And watch the cop yeah. chase the balloon. I'll yeah. get it. Yeah. Criminal masterminds, it's called. He's not a mastermind. He's not a mastermind. Hold on, I'm gonna He's a fucking clown. He's a feeble mind. Yeah. Who has... That means he's like... he. Oh, shit, cops. Get get the Get, get the, the helium. Tank. Get the it's helium kid. tank. <laughs> <laughs> and every time they pull him over, uh, they're like, sir, uh, license registration. Okay, officer, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he's just been playing with helium. Yeah. So is that your real voice? It is. It's not helium. What'd you find? I found it, but it's the fucking commentary and it's fucking frustrating. That means little kids are probably finding his drugs, right? Maybe, yeah, they're chasing yeah. balloons down. They're getting high. Yeah. He's ruined a generation. Where is this? In the States? Uh, yeah, in the States. I'm, I'm, I brought it up for people right now. Because so they, they fly up slowly. Yeah. yeah. Like if the cop is weary, he can catch him. Yeah, if he's alert. But they're easy to catch when they have that little string. But it, with without a string, they're hard to catch. Yeah, I that's guess. true yeah, too. But I guess if he released them while the guy was punching in his details and shit and he wasn't paying attention, he was looking down at the computer. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's what happened. Hold but on. it doesn't make sense because why would you release them if the guy doesn't have the right to check your car? Yeah. Because yeah, usually true, they eh? check your car first, right? If they have a reason to. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a big white van, basically. And the guy... Yeah, the I cop, would check that pedophile van. The too. cop goes back and he just... The guy just... Throws out balloons. Oh, speaking of pedophiles, you saw what happened to Jimmy Fallon and Horatio Sands? No, but that guy definitely is a pedophile. Yeah. He's got a big van and he Helium has balloons. balloons. You sure what it's happened? drugs? They're like, what, what? Were those? Yeah, like, were well, those that US, little hands? Were those USB drives that you were? No, <laughs> it's drugs. <laughs> yeah. Is that a hard drive? Is That's that an SSD? Hard... No, no, drugs. <laughs> yeah, he'd rather go down yeah, for the drugs. Yeah, yeah. But you saw Jimmy Fallon and Horatio Sands. Remember SNL's Horatio Sands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, they're in trouble. They're in hot water. They're getting sued by some woman who at the time in the 2000s, she was 15. Okay. She, just, she was getting groomed by Horatio Sands and Fallon. They had like internet correspondence and then they would meet at parties and Sands apparently, they said, what, he, he digitally... Uh, penetrated her, which I thought meant online, but they meant with his digits. Fingered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she, she was, was 15. 15. And he's denying everything, but apparently in the email, because the, they sent the emails that her, uh, that him and uh, Fallon were using were their NBC emails when they were on SNL. Okay. So there's proof of it or some shit. And so she's suing them for, she's suing everyone. She's suing them and she's suing NBC and SNL for millions. God damn. I don't know how real it is, but that's what's happening right now. Horatio Sands is back in the news for that. Fuck. That yeah. must suck. When you're Horatio Sands and your career's over, and then you're like, oh, yes, my Google alert went off for the first time in 11. God damn it. Yeah. I'm a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. And apparently people, there was witnesses that every time they would meet while she was growing up, like at parties, uh, he'd give her drinks and he'd be flirtatious. And Fallon was aware that he was drinking with her. He was aware that she was 15, but they were making comments about how hot she was. You figure. What? Fuck. If you're on a TV show and another dude brings a 15-year-old, why why didn't they beat him up? Yeah. Right? If I had a friend who's like, yeah, this is my lady friend. How old is she? 15. I'd be like, get the fuck out of my life. Yeah, you wouldn't high-five him. Yeah. Good job, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be like, she is hot. When those tits pop in. That's yeah, weird. Yeah. It's very, very weird. So now Fallon's implicated, and uh, it's kind of funny. What's funny about it is just that uh, Horatio Sands apparently one day told her that's what she says because he denies everything now him and his lawyer but apparently she told uh, they had spoken and he said that he's fucking super nervous and scared about it he's embarrassed about that time and all that and then now but maybe she's lying I don't fucking know because she's 15 that's fucking young though. yeah but maybe she's lying how did they yeah. even meet is what I want to know yeah I don't know how does she get correspondence with SNL she probably oh. if she looked a little older maybe she went to taping oh maybe and maybe. then she was hot because I'd met, when I was single, uh, in my 20s, I'd met a girl once in a bar that was 17. But I met her in a bar, and she had a kid. Oh, yeah. How the so then, oh, the I, fuck? like, uh, I brought her home. She's from a good family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. She's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <You're out. laughs> she was definitely <laughs> locked out of a neighborhood at Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, she... You're dating the royals. Yeah, but she... So then, like, uh, I felt, like, when I found out she was 17, I was like, oh, God damn. God damn, fuck. How did I... But it, it lasted for half a second. I was like, how did I not... Yeah, of course I didn't know. She was in a bar. Looked like an adult. And, and she has a fucking three-year-old. Yeah. So, of course, I'm going to think. what? So, she had a kid at 14? I, I don't know. But her kid, I remember her kid because I, I, the first night I allegedly fucked her. I don't, I don't want to get myself into trouble here because she was 17. But I, I fucked her. And then. Um, How old are you? I was uh, early 20s. Like 21, like 20, 20. No, but the early 20s, but like 24. 
Okay, so mid twenties, sir. Yeah, but th it's still and, the and, early part. And she hadn't told you anything. No, so she. But, and then when I found out, like um, first first night I fucked her, and then the the second time I saw her, uh, she was like, uh, we went to eat, and she was like, do you mind if I bring my kid? And I, I didn't I didn't want to say no because I didn't want to seem like a guy that wouldn't date a chick with a kid. So I said sure. So then I met the kid. The kid was like three. Okay. And then, like, the time after, then someone told me, she's 17. I was like, oh, shit. So I asked her, I was like, you 17? She was like, yeah. And like, it's like, normal. Yeah, I was like, god damn, that's fuck. you're too young. And then I never saw her again. Did she get mad? Uh, no, no. But she she was like, um, no, I guess she, she expected it. But it was weird that, yeah, it was weird that, uh, you know, she looked like, she looked like as old as I was. Yeah, and she had a kid. Yeah, a she, three year old yeah. kid. God damn, that's a good family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A good neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, Where was this? This was in um, uh, some little town like Trois Rivières or some shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, Trois Rivières is. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I don't know, something about it. Like, even that's when crazy, I swing by bro. there, it looks like. It looks sad, bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it looks. It's sad. the downtown part is really nice, though. And yeah. next to the river, next to the St. Lawrence River, it's fucking amazing. And they don't card you at bars yeah, yeah. every time. Yeah, uh, you fuck, you swing by the high schools. No, no, because every time <laughs> it, it's not that sad. No, because no, every time I drive, th <laughs> oh, every time I drive, it's funny because a lot of the high schools over there, you'll notice not just fifteen-year-olds, a lot of one and two-year-olds too. It's uh. <laughs> oh, they're very smart. <laughs> no, no, because every time I drive through, like, to go to Quebec City... I drive quickly because I have pending charges. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I'll look, I go, why does it look so sad? Well, now you know. Yeah, now you Broken know. Broken dreams. Because I then. dumped them. <laughs> <laughs> I dumped them, for, dumped them when they were children. But what's the what's the rules about that? Like, sh I think shouldn't th people tell you? Uh, yeah, but legally, I think Quebec is uh, sixteen. No, I, legally, it's one thing. Legally, I'm, I'm, I did nothing wrong. No, no, but I mean, but shouldn't socially she have been like? By the way, yeah, uh, clearly I'm misleading you. Like, but when you're seventeen, yeah, you, and you, you, you know, you want, and someone's treating you like a grown up, you, you must be happy. Yeah, I guess, I yeah. guess, uh, but I, I just be furious. But always yeah. worried about uh, me, like if I met a chick, like I was talking with online, like fuck, what if she's like, what's her age? Yeah, you know what I mean, that always yeah. worried me. So then, why don't you ask? I do, but I don't be rude, so I always ask questions like. Uh, so That's why he can never run a bar. Mm. He's always getting shut down because he refuses to ask <laughs> <her>. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> how old they are. That's different. But uh, how do you ask a chick? Uh, uh, hey, how old are you, by the way? I have sometimes, but sometimes they go like, eh, "What the fuck?" You yeah. know, give out generally it. when you have to ask. It's because they look young, young. not because they look old. Yeah. No, I always asked. Even if she looks like she's 30. Like if she looks 50, just, you're like. Just in case. Just in case. Really? So she's got gray hair and like oh, crow's well, feet. Hold on. And There's a limit, fucking obviously. saggy There's tits. A There's a limit, obviously. But if you I meet her son who just graduated. Hey, bro, how old is your mom? <laughs> no, no, that's different. But I mean, like, if she... If I just want to know she's tricking me. He's like, dude, I'm 23. Yeah, yeah enough about you. Why is yeah. everything about you? If how old is she? Shunder age? Excuse <laughs> me, doctor. Yeah. <laughs> how old is your mom? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, uh, like if, I, if I knew she was in her early 20s, I would always, like, uh, kind of ask and shit, you know? In a, like, indirect. You go, you're, you're in your early 20s, like, my dick is eight inches, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> same. <laughs> same, same? <laughs> It's like, uh, we, All good right. answer. <laughs> good answer. I got you. No, before we go, Mike, uh, just one thing we should say, I forgot about it, but, um, sad news this week. Uh, I found out yesterday that Fez Marie Watley. Yeah. For, I know his real name is out there too, but cause everyone knows him as Fez, uh, passed away. So that was pretty sad news. It, like me, it was very influential, Ron and Fez. Yeah. Ron Bangtang, I still love. I, st I think he's the best fucking broadcaster. Uh, that show was super, super influential to me. And I guess he was having a lot of heart problems, but I wasn't aware of it. For yeah, he had time. like, when he was young, he had a bunch of heart attacks. So just a, yeah. just a bit of, you know. Yeah, very sad that he died. Uh, it, it was fucked up. And people who don't know or didn't know of him or whatever, uh, you should check out on YouTube. Ron Go on Fez YouTube, clips. yeah. Hilarious. The... It, it was a phenomenal show, and uh, Ron Bankton still does his interviews. He still has his show, but uh, Ron and Fez was something magical for the longest time. That was very, very, 
it was big for me. It was a very, very important show. And he made me laugh so much, you know, uh, for all those years. So it, it sucked. Yeah. It sucked seeing that shit. But I'm glad to see all the support from comics and radio people. Yeah. Just showing love. Uh, he Because I know he went through a period where he wasn't sure and he was sad and all that. So at least now you know that most of the people around him respected the fuck out yeah. of him and loved him. So, yeah, just a little uh, shout out to his, fi- you know, his friends and family. Poseidon, you know who Fez was? No. But R.I.P. R.I.P. Thank you very much. Exactly. So, uh, Mike Ward is back on tour and things in Quebec are scheduled. We'll see if that's true. To open up in the next couple of weeks or months. So check out MikeWard.ca, get tickets to Mike Ward Noir. Uh, tickets are on sale now. Most shows are already sold out. For the ones that aren't, jump on them quick because uh, they sell out pretty quickly. Also, speaking of Mike before the show, there is a chance Mike might start popping up and doing some English shows around the city. Yep. He's got to practice. He's got an album coming out. He's got to practice the kid. So uh, you'll find us in different places around the city. Uh, Mike Ward Suzukuti, number one French language comedy podcast on the planet, is available everywhere but if you are on patreon patreon.com slash is good you get access to the live shows you get access to the entire back catalog and it's the only place you can go to buy tickets for the live shows there's no time lost there in about two minutes every show is sold out so they never go on sale anywhere else you got to be a patreon member to get mm-hmm. those uh check poseidon out on twitch twitch.tv slash the poseidon 69 the poseidon 69 on twitter and instagram pantelliscomedy.com for all of my stuff patreon.com slash pantelis for all the shows that we do here new shows coming next month thank you guys Go fuck yourself and stay peaceful.